Count of three, two, one, action! How do we dice an onion? Butter's a friend. Delicious. Bloop, 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 bloop. Very slowly, yeah? Not bloop, 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 bloop. That's no good. Boom! Oh, I hate when my doctor does that. Oh, you don't have one of those at home. Oh. <laughs> Some merge. Ah. Relax. Anybody who doesn't like butter, I don't trust them. Nothing! Uh -huh. <laughs> it's the only time I cook with a pot upside down. This guy's nuts. Welcome to the channel! <laughs> Where did that come from? I have no idea. <laughs> Hello there, friends. A quick note from me. Jack, what a journey this has been. The channel started back in 2020, in the middle of the virus that we all experienced. The cooking school had to shut down, so Chef Jean-Pierre, along with his team and I, decided to take some action and reboot the YouTube channel to continue hosting our cooking classes online. It proved to be a big commitment, and we knew we had our work cut out for us. Never did we think at the time we would reach 1 million subscribers in just a little over two years. It still feels surreal. We never could have done this without the encouragement of all of you guys, our loyal fans. We're also grateful for your continued support towards all of us, and especially this channel. So I dedicate this video to all you fans, making each and every day better for all of us. Thank you. Well, hello there, friend. Well, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot what I was doing. <laughs> the cream is hot, by the way, folks. I did it earlier. So I didn't waste too much time, okay? Because I, I have tendency of losing weight, losing weight, losing time by blah, 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 blah. So I'm not gonna talk too much. <laughs> oh, by the way, somebody said to me the other day, you talk too much. I said, well, dude, I can't dance and I can't sing. So what do you want me to do? Do say nothing? You know what, I'm here to have a good time. If you think I talk too much, go to Tic Tac Talk over there. They don't talk at all. They good, they do the recipe, they don't talk. I hope I didn't forget anything. Oh yeah, I forgot something. Normally, I put bread on the toast. A bread, I put butter on the toast. I had it right there, ready to go, and I didn't do it. I remember this day, one day I was watching the, uh, the Today Show and they had these ding dong guys cooking over there. And he was cooking, he was marinating a chicken with a similar marinade than this, you know. And uh, so he took the chicken out, he said, don't want to cook the chicken, make sure you throw the marinade out. He said, because it's full of chicken. It is indeed for a chicken. He should have thrown the chicken away too. The chicken is full of chicken. Yeah, throw that one away to eat. You don't throw it away, you cook it. Okay, so then you're in good shape, all right? So <laughs> throw the chicken away. My doctor was telling me that they said, you gotta, uh, you have to have uh, less sugar, less fat. I'm changing doctor. I got a timer in here. I'm gonna start at five minutes. This time I'm not waiting on nobody. <laughs> all right. My timer didn't go off. Maybe it was not five minutes. <laughs> I better check my crouton, otherwise, you know. You, no, they're good. They're like, uh, they're not even ready yet. How you doing, guys, over there? Everybody happy in there? Oh, yeah. Yeah, just checking. <laughs> Making sure everybody's happy in there. And how is my timer doing? You know, <laughs> I'm not very good. <laughs> I didn't click on start. I am totally challenged. <laughs> I put the timer on five minutes. I said, you know what? I'm gonna show them off. I'm gonna put a timer on it, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna show them over there that I can do it on my own, right? Except <laughs> I didn't turn it on. Ah, uh, thank goodness. Thank goodness I can cook, right? Otherwise, I don't know what they'll have me here for. <laughs> Guess what we're making today? Butter. <laughs> we're gonna make butter from squash, friends. It's so easy, you're not gonna believe it. If you come to my house, I promise you, you feel better when you get out, because you have so much butter. My mom calls WD-40. <laughs> it's fabulous lubrication. It, butter makes everything better. Better. Butter makes everything butter. No, <laughs> butter makes everything. I, did I say butter? I said butter. I said butter makes everything butter. Butter makes everything better. It really does. I love butter. But we can talk about that some other time. You can skip the butter. I was only kidding. 
Don't skip the bottle, okay? I'm using a bottle of olive oil. <laughs> bottle of olive oil. Anybody who doesn't like butter, I don't trust them. <laughs> I have the bowl of butter right there. That's just for emotional support because I don't think I'm going to put any butter in there. Yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll put some in there. We'll see. They said you have enough butter in the dough. You know what I say? You never have enough butter. <laughs> Somebody's going to say, oh, you know, I like your food, but it's too much butter. Well, guess what? Go eat somewhere else, okay? Because uh, my food is going to have butter. We're going to finish it up with butter. <laughs> yeah, you got our butter. Butter, oh baby. No margarine, huh? You know, margarine is the molecule away from acrylic. You like plastic? Yeah, you eat your margarine. Yeah, yeah, eat your margarine. I'll eat my butter. Thank you very much. It wouldn't be um, our channel if we didn't use any butter, huh? So, butter is good for you. <laughs> the right way to do it, bro. Don't be afraid now. Butter is a friend. You don't have to put butter if you don't want to put butter. <laughs> but I, I do. <laughs> That's uh, for uh, emotional support. <laughs> I have to stop for a second because I need to get some butter and cream. I like better butter, but it's really up to you. It doesn't matter. I love my butter. Uh, <laughs> this is gonna be good, let me tell you. And the main ingredient of, uh, of a lemon sauce, believe it or not, friends, the main ingredient of a lemon sauce is butter. <laughs> Fresh lemon juice on it. This is gonna be very acid. I love it when it's very acid, because more acid it is, more butter I can put in. So you want to put a little butter in there, measure carefully. <laughs> measure carefully. Is uh, We're going to put a little bit of butter on the pan. Just a little bit of butter. Uh, maybe I'll add a little bit more. I'll uh, publish the exact recipe. There's never enough butter. <laughs> oh, and of course we're going to use a little butter. I love butter, you know that, right? Butter is good for you. you know, my mom calls it WD-40, it's good for you. Butter. We're gonna, wait. we're gonna use the butter, don't worry. See, look at that. And, and then we're gonna put a little bit of uh, chicken stock, uh, maybe just a little bit of cream, what do you, what do you think? And, and butter, we're gonna put butter, huh? <laughs> we're gonna put butter, friends. Butter it is, butter it is. <laughs> butter is good. All right, friends, butter is good. You know, Time Magazine had an article, uh, eat butter. I'll show you, show you the article. It's very old. No, it's not at all, really. <laughs> Look, it was, um, it was uh, 2014. Not that long ago. Time life, eat butter. <laughs> you know how many times I read this? Look at this. It's a little old right now, but eat butter. Scientists label fat the enemy, why they were wrong. Read the article, butter's good for you. Look. <laughs>
Size matters, mamma mia, look at this thing. And I turn my heat off. Well, how do you like that? Not a good idea. While you're cooking, do not turn the heat off. And I haven't drink anything. And then we're gonna make the we're gonna make the bracing container right here. Just checking to make sure it was hot enough. Now, for those of you that think my accent is a fake accent, it's not. Okay, I'm half French and half Italian. All right, but I'm now I'm 100% American. God bless America. God bless the rest of the world. We need some blessing. <laughs> Look, you see, I cut them. They're about an inch round. I mean, an inch, <laughs> an inch round. A, a, a one inch square, approximately. Don't go out there and take the tape measure, but they square, okay? And now, we need to create somewhat of a uh, triangle, if you will, you know? So, what happened is, is right here, I got this thickness in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna open it up like a book, if you will. You see? And so, remember the breast was like that? So we take the tenderloin, that's the tenderloin, that's normally what you get in a, in a chicken or so, right? And you take it right there, and you open it up like a book. So now we have a, like a, somewhat of a triangle over there, okay? And um, so let me wash my hands. Well, we got the triangle I was telling you about. I'm gonna have some ground chicken in there, and I don't know if you guys seen uh, ground chicken at the grocery store, but trust me, you don't wanna buy ground chicken at the grocery store. So you put it in, don't touch it. Don't do nothing. Don't touch it. Everybody wants to play with it. When somebody uses dry mushroom, you know, they use this beautiful dry mushroom, what's the first thing they do before they use the dry mushroom? then put them back in water. What is wrong with you people? Okay, if you have a dry mushroom, you don't want to rehydrate it in water. Water tastes like nothing. Put it in wine, put it in broth, put it in stock, put it in something else than water. How great is that if you picked wine, uh, and let's say you picked the mushroom, and inside the mushroom is Madeira wine. Oh, you can't buy those. <laughs> but if you buy a dry mushroom, and you rehydrate them in Madeira, you got a Madeira mushroom. <laughs> well, that'll be something I should do. What do you think of that idea? You don't have Madeira wine, use port wine. You don't have port wine, use masala wine. You don't want to use wine? Oh, then we're in trouble. No, don't worry. You see all those people do this? Whenever you see somebody do this, go to the other channel. <laughs> Look, I love whisk. How many whisks you got in your kitchen? <laughs> ay, 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 ay. I got a drawer, just whisk. <laughs> you know, food without salt is like a day without sunshine. It's like a great dinner without wine. It's like life without love. <laughs> okay, enough already. <laughs> Make sure you measure carefully. <laughs> Oh, you know what you could add also in there? Don't tell anybody, okay? They don't need to know. Little kalu in there. Measure this carefully. That you have to be careful. Because, measure carefully, okay? <laughs> measure carefully. This you have to measure carefully, yeah? <laughs> measure carefully, yeah? Three, four, five, six, seven uh, cubes of, um, cubes. Garlic, uh, cloves in there, right? Just a little bit of Parmesan. Measure carefully, yeah? So you want to put a little butter in there. Measure carefully. <laughs> Measure carefully. Ooh. When you put anise, friends, see? See how little that was? Woo, that was so little. And you notice everything is carefully measured, eh? Chicken stock, now if you're cooking for a vegan, God bless you <laughs> for your patience and your kindness and your consideration. God's very nice. It's tough to cook for vegans, you know. You can put a little grandma in here and there. <laughs> you know, look, you, remember, you just want to make them happy, not drunk, okay? So I like it. I like it when it's thick. The thicker it is and better it is. 
Oh man, this is full. Holy mackerel. It's a good thing I'm not drinking. Not too long ago, I was in, um, at the airport in New York with my suitcase. And I got 10 pounds of Herbe de Provence. Not like you're going to smoke or anything, you know, it's Herbe de Provence, right? And the big old dog is hemming for me. I said, oh boy, I'm in trouble. How am I going to explain that I don't smoke the stuff I cook with it? And they're going to say, yeah, sure you do. Come this way. And they looked at me and whoop, it went away. Oh, I guess he didn't like the smell of Herbe de Provence. Thank goodness. Oh, mamma mia. Oh, thank goodness I'm here. <laughs> thank goodness I'm here. Where would I be? In another kitchen somewhere where I'm here cooking for you. I forgot fresh time. You gotta put fresh time. It's, it's still a fragile, fragile, fra fragile. It's regular raisin, you put rum, you put frangelico, you put kalua, put cognac, put whatever you want booze in there. If you don't drink booze, uh, <laughs> I'm half French, half Italian, and 100% American. And for this, you need one of those uh, oversized towels. I get those at the Hilton. <laughs> it's not rocket science, it's cooking, okay? Let me tell you, friends, this sauce is good enough to rub all over your body. <laughs> no, really. Pure said, really? He said, yeah. Just wait until it's not so hot, okay? <laughs> you can make extra of this. <laughs> No, 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 I'm not kidding. Here, make extra of this because this, you could drink it. For certain, it's a must rub all over your body. After, it's not so hot, okay? No. <laughs> you make this gravy, I promise you, you gonna make it all year long. Forget about Thanksgiving, you make it all the time. This would be good on pork, it'd be good on chicken, it'd be good on beef, it'd be good rubbing on your body. <laughs> Okay, boy, you put it on top like that and you go up and down, up and down. Look how simple that is, see? A child could do this. It don't have to be Julia child, any child, I promise you. Look, 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 go up and down, go up and down. A child could do this. Okay, now look, look. It looks like it's difficult, but it's not difficult. Look at this. A child could do this. You notice everything I do is very simple. I'm telling you, friends, you can all become fabulous cooks. Cooking is the easiest hobby in the world to learn, my friends. It really is. It should be tender enough. Oh, there, look at it. I can cut it with a fork. It's so tender. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. Take a little spoon, but I'm going to take a big spoon for this one. Ah. Oh. Oh, mamma mia, this is amazing. I, I'm telling you, you make this, you're not gonna believe it. Let me just test it to make sure it's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. It's hot, but it's delicious. Mm. Look at you all. Ah, delicious. Oh, ha. Mm. Mm. Ha ha ha! Ha! It's too hot for me, friend. Mmm! 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 Ha ha! I love them, but they're very hot. Ah. So! So! Ha ha! I know it's gonna be a little hot, but that's why you put a little sour cream in there. Mmm! I see a steam coming out of my mouth. Oh! Oh, mamma mia. Now it's good, friends. Remember, when you're looking for salt, you want to find the salt. You look for the salt. You look for it. And if you can't find it, then keep testing. This is what I call a very sexy dessert. <laughs> I love my life. Correct? If not, then... Mmm. Mmm. Perfect. Okay. So. Ha ha ha! I know it was hot. But the rice and the taco. Mm. Oh ha ha! Ha ha! Oh ha! Oh ha! Oh ha! It is good. <laughs> mm. My mom always told me, don't talk with your mouth full. It is amazing. I'm telling you. Oh. Um. Who is hot? Um, oh, it's good. 
Whew. It's delicious, but it's hot. Ooh. Ah. I remember my mom saying, don't eat with your mouth full. But let me tell you, mm, this is sexy. This is as close as you're going to get to sex without being in the bedroom. Look at the stuff, please. Mm. Woo! Hey, it's a little acid, but I like it that way. Ooh, it's hot. Oh. Oh. Mm. We have it. Oh, mamma mia, I forgot to put the salt and I forgot to put the, uh, the shiracha. <laughs> it's delicious, right there, huh? Oh, oh. Ooh, it's gonna be hot. Let me check it again, because I was talking and then I forgot to check for salt. <laughs> if you don't think, you don't think, you, you, you don't know. You have to think, okay, look. You think, is there salt in there? Ah, no. Oh. I'm impressed with my cooking. That's pretty cool. Ah. Ah. Ooh. 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 Big, normally wait until it's not so hot, okay? Ah. I know it was hot and I forgot. <laughs> it is, it's like an amazing, it's a, it's a custard, it's a souffle, it's a, I don't know. It's beautiful. This is a, this is a sexy dessert, friends. Let me tell you. Mm. Mm. Oh my goodness. I love my job. Imagine that. That's what I do for a living. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna blow on it, cause it's gonna be out. I'm gonna blow myself. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Mm. When your eyes are crying, you know it's hot. Stay tuned, I'm gonna show you how to make it. Remember, ring the bell. I'm rolling it super, super, super tight, right? Super, super, super tight. Like super, super, super tight. You could smoke it at this point. No, I don't do that. I want it to be smooth like a baby's butt. Really, 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 really smooth, okay, friends? That's what I'm looking for, smooth, smoothness. I know the uh, recipe police on YouTube is gonna say, that's not a typical jambalaya. Don't worry about it, whatever we call it. It's delicious, okay? So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab a pan, then you can cook in. It helps if you can cook in the pan. <laughs> um, <laughs> put as much as you can, as much as you can. I have no more cheese to put on top, so take it easy, Jean-Pierre. Look at this, nothing left. I should do this for a living. That was a perfect amount, friends, right? Look at this, look at this. I should do this for a living. This is called Israeli couscous and we love it. It's a big one. If you can get that, great. If you can't get that, get some ozo, ozo, or ozo, 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 mamma mia, ozo, get some, uh, uh, any grain that makes you happy, don't worry about it. Okay, barley is great also. You can do so many grains. Oh, rice, rice would be perfectly fine. Let me go get a lemon, folks, because I had a lemon. No, oh, here it is, here it is, right here. Don't go anywhere. Sometime people say the villa is too long. They must be in a hurry or something. <laughs> it's cooking, eh? It's like love making, okay? We're not in a hurry. We're having a good time. <laughs> God bless America. Love my life. I hope you guys love your life too, eh? As it thicken, it gets thicker. No, as it cools. Sometimes I wonder about my English. You would think as time goes, it goes better, right? No, not with me. And, and for those of you that have not been to my channel, this is not a Tic Tac Talk recipe where we're ready to put everything real quick. We explain. See, leave it a steak alone. Leave it a potato alone. Boy, I heard some crack. I don't know where it came from. But <laughs> a little batter in here, friends. We can use an immersion blender like this. Those works great. <laughs> or you got one of those. <laughs> and those works very great, okay? <laughs> very great. I don't think that's an English term, but there we go. Some people like very little sugar. It's really up to you. I, I really don't like my dessert to be too sweet. I'm sweet enough. <laughs>
Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I, mean, I like it when I come up with some good ones. But now, oh, guess what? <laughs> I got something right here. I always forget it. Just a little bit of cognac. Ooh, little. Don't make them drunk. Just make them happy. Lost my wooden spoon. Huh. Lock the door. I shouldn't always take my wooden spoon. Be very, very pack it in. Be very pack it in. Yep. You see, like this, when you're comfortable, you're like, oh. <laughs> whoa. Whoa. Now, you want to be very comfortable with it, okay? And relax. And the mint, I'm going to put them at the end, and this, I'm going to put at the end, the booze. Because if I put it there now, uh, the, all the alcohol is going to burn out. <laughs> What's the sense of putting it in there if you're going to let it all burn out, right? It makes no sense at all. Well, hello there, friends. I just finished watching the video like you did. Oh boy, we had lots of fun, lots of laugh, and some delicious food along the way. Great job, Jack. I just wanted to thank you again for being with us during this amazing journey. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned a few recipe, and we look forward to do it again, even better next year. We love you guys. God bless you all.